and welcome back to this special show presented by the British Council, Anish Kapoor in India. Anish, I'm going to talk about a bit on the market now, something that the artists don't, sometimes, I mean, they just reluctantly talk about it. Um, what does it mean to you, auction results, auction records? Do you know, um, uh, artists shouldn't be shy about money. Mm -hmm. um, money's part of, you know, it's part of the deal in a way. Yes. Um, art on the whole, what artists do on the whole is or can be seen as being mythological. We mm -hmm. don't really make objects. Mm -hmm. We make, if you like, we make mythologies right. of various kinds. Yeah. That does not mean they are stories. It, it means, if you like, that they have a kind of, a kind of abstract language. Uh -huh. Money is part of that language. Mm -hmm. um, part of the myth of a work is yeah. that it sells for a lot of money. So when you come <laughs> and look at it, you look not only at the work, but you look at its if you like, in our society, money means so many um, um, different sorts of things, all to do with power. That's and, true. and in a way, art also plays yeah. in, that, in that game. Mm -hmm. And why not? Another magnificent piece that I have in mind, which I really want to speak to you about, is uh, the tower that you're creating for Olympics 2012 that is uh, supported by Arsila Mitko. Mm -hmm. uh, what was that entire process of giving in that design and finally being selected and finding someone who can put in the funds as well? Well, um, the, 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 the mayor of London and his team, uh -huh. um, um, you know, are invited various um, artists, um, architects and so on mm -hmm. to um, um, present projects for, with, with a very specific brief to build a tower. Right. And, uh, you know, we were lucky, Cecil, Cecil Belmont and myself, who yes. we worked together, Cecil is a very brilliant engineer, um, we worked together over many years, and you know, we put a proposal together and we were lucky to win it, so mm -hmm. um, we're now in production, which is, which is quite something. And I never ever thought it would get done, but it is. Okay, I've been noticing my reflection on this. Mm. It's incredibly um, interesting, but it also makes you go cockeyed a bit because you're struggling mm. to catch your image mm. there. Uh, tell us a bit about this, or th and, and also the start of the style of using this material. Mm. Um, well, this work uh, called Vertigo yes. is made of stainless steel. Um, mm -hmm. um, you know, in a way, the, 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 the thing I've been trying to point out about this absent object, yes. which is in these other works here in the show, is taken to a different place by, by this one. Right. Um, we we'll just walk in, a bit to catch sure, our image. Sure. Yeah. In, in um, the, the, the you know, um, mirrored objects have been made in art for a, a long time, probably since the Egyptians. Um, That's true. But, yeah. but for the most part, they've been um, um, convex objects, meaning positive forms. Yes. Now, what happens with positive forms, of course, is that they, because of their mirroredness, they camouflage themselves in the space. Yes. But concave forms, which is this one, hollow forms yes. like this, so, um, yeah. don't just do something with, with, the, with um, um, a kind of camouflage. They actually involve the space in mm -hmm. front of them. So th the reason why this is hard on your eye is that it's yes. activating this space. Quite a it big space. It is energized. In fact. Yeah. yeah that's and you're true. doing, it's as if you're entering a certain sphere of the object. Um, and that's what really interests me is mm. that. In the end, sculpture is about space, and this acts to, 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 to make a problem, if you like, yes. of the space that it's active in. And that's what you're interacting with. And you've also taken to, a, to an entirely different scale. I mean, the most famous works mm. of yours being Sky Mirror and Cloud Gate, mm -hmm. which is incredibly popular. Mm -hmm. um, how did you envision that? Well, um, this is a very, very complicated, difficult technology to make an object like yes. this. Um, you know, it's taking... Um, um, a team of, that I've been working with in California for at least 10 years taken up to understand how to do something like right. this. Um, and I've been very lucky to work with amazing people who've, who've helped me put these things together mm -hmm. and even at a much bigger scale. Right. Yeah. And roughly give us an idea of number of people in your team to put together a work of that size well, of Cloudgate, Well, Cloudgate you know, took seven or eight years, um, cost too much money and was a team of probably 200 people you know, working for all that time. So it's a, a, a huge commitment. Yeah. That's fantastic. We're going to be in conversation with the master creator Anish Kapoor in just a bit. Don't go anywhere. Come right here. An exhibition of this scale would normally take at least 18 months, two years. 
and then, but because Anish had just won the Olympic competition, it was right. Well, it's this November or nothing. Our job has been since then, with great collaboration, lots and lots of planning between Anish Kapoor's studio, my colleagues in the UK, in the UK uh, British Council UK, and the British Council team here, liaising with the NGMA and the Ministry of Culture. Welcome back to this special show presented by the British Council, Anish Kapoor in India. And yes, we finally have him here. Anish, in the previous segment, you were talking to me about spaces and the energy that is created by a con concave surface. But now here we are on the other side. Yes. Well, and <laughs> it does the opposite. It does the absolute opposite, see, yeah. As you can see. So, of course, the world is upside down the other side. And That's it's right. the right way up here. Yes. So, um, um, but camouflaging itself in the space, which mm -hmm. is what we you know is the important thing. Right. But the surface, the concave surface, is something that you're more interested in. I, I've also made many, many works, this, exactly, that's right. over, yeah. over the years with uh, um, hollow spaces. I mean, um, um, this, this big yellow work here, mm -hmm. you know, color, especially monochromatic color, mm -hmm. um, does something very particular in that. Um, um, personally, I've never really understood or been that interested in composition. Right. In, you know, composition in art is where you put one thing next to another and balance them or That's don't true. balance them or whatever. Yeah. I'm looking for absolute conditions. Yes. So here, in a way, is uh, uh, an immersion in yellow. Um, and what, that ha what happens in that, in that process is, if it's done right, is mm -hmm. that something profoundly changes, I believe. Um, I think art has this has the ability to slow time down, so that when you enter the, if you like the, the, the dreaming of the work, mm -hmm. that it is it is about some fundamental thing, yes. changing or stopping or slowing down or something like that. Right, there's such a strong connection that you do have with India. It's it's evident in in your colors. It's evident in uh, your early works and pigments there, mm -hmm. but you've brought it out in an incredibly different manner, in a language never seen before. Uh, was this something that was coming from inside, or was it partly designed? Well, you know, I grew up here. I've lived away from India, sadly, for, for, for way too long. But, um, um, and I feel I sort of carry it in me. I carry it in my, in my heart, in my soul, somewhere. Yes. Um, and in a way, the works are a kind of, um, a kind of reliving. Uh -huh. of a certain, a certain series of, of uh, uh, preoccupations, you know, color, form, space, etc. Also the titles of your works. Indeed. Yes. Indeed. Okay, Anish, pleasure. Thank you. I'm such a huge fan and I'm saying this on record, but it's been such a pleasure. Thank you so much for the Thank time you. and Thank you. have a wonderful time in India. Thank you very much. Well, that's it Thank from you. me and Anish Kapoor here in India. Hope you had a nice time listening to us. Thanks a lot. We had to bring in telescopic cranes, lift them down onto various floors, check the weights and the, that the floors were able to wear, ensure that nothing would go wrong, prop them, <laughs> you know, and uh, bring in electronic movers, electronic motorized movers, just imagine if a work in itself weighs five tons, you need a crane which is seven tons to lift it and bring it. And what a pleasure I share is that all this was successfully achieved. Mm -hmm.